Let's talk about real network certifications. Associate level first. Many people are talking about CCNA versus Comtea Network Plus. I already gave my verdict. So kindly check this videos to learn more. It's not even comparable. Network Plus is not even complementary to CCNA. And it would be a waste when getting Network Plus first, then CCNA. You rather go straight to CCNA and get a better certifications after. If you want to be a network engineer, go for vendor certifications such as Juniper, Arista, and of course, there is F5. In this video, we're going to compare the couple of certifications from these two vendors. One is the core and the other is the DevOps related certification. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm career and certification captain. Now on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. CCNA, or Cisco Certified Network Associate, is still the most widely recognized certifications in the field of information technology. It serves as the gateway to navigating computer networks. This certification is the validation that demonstrates your proficiency in handling routers, switches, and wireless devices. CCNA is not just networking, such as routing protocol, VLANs, trunking, link redundancy, etc. They also introduce Cisco security solutions like VPN, firewalls, AAA, and many others. It also introduced SDN solutions and automation, such as SD WAN, SDN slash ACI, and SD Access. It cost 300 US dollars. Then the counterpart, F5CA Big IP or F5 Certified Administrator Big IP. To achieve this certification, you need to pass F5101, then F5201 exams. Many people doesn't know this, but 30% more or less of the exam covers basic networking, such as IP addressing, VLANs, 802.1Q, link aggregation, routing, etc. It also introduces many different applications, then focuses on a specific application, which is the web. And then it talks about more web-related technologies, such as proxy, reverse proxy, then FIB IP, which is a full proxy appliance. So that's F5101. The F5201 is more technical, more configuration related, and it focuses on network and application optimization. What else? Troubleshooting, maintaining FIB IP appliance, and introduce other solutions such as web application firewall, global load balancing using DNS, advanced firewall, etc. Both F5101 and 201 exam cost $180. So total would be $360 USD. Now, if you think about it, it's actually more comparable from the old CCNA. The old CCNA consists of two exams, ICND-1 and ICND-2. So ICND-1 versus F5101, these are network fundamentals. ICND-2 versus F5201 focuses on products with configuration examples. So which one is better? Well, popularity and cost-wise, CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate, of course. However, F5CA or F5 Certified Administrator Big IP is more of a complementary certification. It's also a better knowledge and experience if you're planning to specialize in cloud technologies. Remember, CCNA focuses on port configuration, links, and OCLIs, while F5CA or F5 Certified Administrator Big IP focuses on application-related configuration using GUI. So, which one is more cloudy? Next, Cisco Certified DevNet Associate is a DevOps certification that focuses more on network solutions, and it covers software development and design, network APIs, network fundamentals, automation and programmability, infrastructure as a code, or IAAC, CICD, and Cisco platform development. So can you take the certification even you aren't CCNA yet? The answer is yes, you can as it covers basic networking and Cisco platforms. But I think it's better to take CCNA first. Now, the counterpart, F5 Certified Administrator Engine X or F5CA Engine X. 
First off, what is Nginx? Well, FI Big IP is the application delivery controller. Some people call it application load balancer. FI Big IP is a popular hardware appliance, while Nginx is more popular as an OSS web server and a web proxy server. What is OSS again? It stands for Open Source Software. But Nginx is also a load balancer. It's also popular as an ingress controller in a Kubernetes environment. And Kubernetes is a core component of DevOps. This certification covers those mentioned Nginx features. It also includes configuration, troubleshooting, design, and many others. Obviously, the winner here is Cisco Certified DevNet Associate because it's more popular. But F5CA Nginx, give it a year or two, my guess. It will be a widely recognized DevOps certification. F5 is just a very underrated certification. And I genuinely believe that Engine X certifications will become increasingly popular in the future. Anyone here who wants to debate with me which one is better? F5 certified administrator in Big IP versus CompTIA Network Plus.